wow. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Hello, my amazing, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic friends. Welcome back to my channel. It has been a while. It's been a while. I don't even know how to film right now. I'm sorry for the echo. It's probably really echoey because I'm currently in a bedroom without any furniture aside from this adorable cat tree that I built myself. Well, I assembled myself. I didn't build it. But anyway, yeah, it's been a while. I took a really, really long break. I've been explaining myself on like my community tab. I put out a, a little note for you guys. I have been talking about it on Twitch. If you don't know, I do stream on Twitch pretty regularly. I've had to take a bit of a break from that, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. I hope the audio isn't too bad when I go to edit this. Oh my God, I have to edit this. I haven't edited in so long. But let me just get something a little out of the way. I got quite a few messages on Instagram, um, a lot more than I was expecting. I was so sure that everyone was gonna forget about me and no one was gonna care. And I'm still kind of pretty sure that no one's gonna watch this video. I'm not really sure, but a lot of people asked if it was something to do with my medication and a lot of people worried that it had something to do with my medication. Hold on, I'm gonna adjust the camera because I'm not comfortable right now. That's a little bit better. But yeah, I, if you guys don't know, I think it was my last video, I talked about how I was starting some medication for my mental health because I was formally diagnosed with ADHD, depression, and general anxiety. So I started to take quite a few medications to hopefully help those things. And then I stopped filming. I was like on this high while I was filming my last video and then I kind of just stopped filming and I took this massive break. And a lot of people thought that it was maybe because of my medication and I think it might have had something to do with that. So I did a lot more research on my antidepressants, which I am currently taking Lexapro. I still take my antidepressants and I want to make this clear that I do like them. I have to get with a new psychiatrist because um, psychiatrists and therapists can only work within their state. And since I moved, which uh, yeah, that's another thing that is a big update. I moved. I'm currently in San Diego, California. Uh, anyway, moving on. <laughs> it's been a lot, guys. I have a lot to update you guys on. Yeah, so anyway, I'm still trying to figure out the dose and see if Lexapro is the right medication for me, but I can say that Lexapro, at the very least, helps me with my unalive thoughts, so that's a plus. I will say though that my Lexapro make me very tired and that's basically what happened after that little like short honeymoon period of taking the Lexapro. I felt amazing, I felt great, and then I slept and slept and slept and slept. And I was tired all the time. I didn't have any motivation. I was feeling really just lazy and sluggish and it was just really, really difficult to do anything. It was hard because I felt like I didn't want to unalive myself, but I was also so apathetic, which I'm a very not apathetic person. I care too much about everything and everyone all the time. But I became very apathetic and I noticed how I wasn't doing anything and I was being so lazy and I wanted to care, but I couldn't. After that lasted for maybe around like two months, I'd say, which is pretty standard. Those kind of side effects can happen. They happen the most in the first like two to four months, I believe. That's what happened to me. It, like for the first two months, it was just bad, but it's, it's been a bit better now. I take Adderall for my ADHD and I definitely, definitely notice a huge difference with that. I enjoy it a lot. I don't take it every day because I don't want to become, I don't want my tolerance to build up too much. So I don't take it every day. My psych recommended not to take it every day, but I do take it most days and I haven't had to up my dose or anything. And I really, really, really enjoy it. So I don't want people to think that like medication is bad. Like of course medication doesn't work for everyone, but medication can also work for a lot of people. And I have found that it works pretty well for me. It's just that time period was really, really hard. I think, for the past few months, if I really wanna get into talking about my mental health and how I've been feeling lately. For the past few months, actually, I wanna say since my dad passed away, I feel like I've really lost myself because I identified so heavily with my dad and with my parents and not having them there. I felt like I really lost who I was and like lost my purpose in life and lost just a piece of me, which I, you really do. I mean, when you lose someone, whether it's through the death of a family member, whether it's through the death of a friend, 
the death of a pet, the death of, not even the death, it could be like a breakup, whether it's a romantic breakup or a friendship breakup, whatever, you lose the person that you were with that person, you know? And that's why breakups and grief and loss, it's so devastating because you literally lose yourself. You're not only losing that person, you lose the person you were with them. And I feel like it's taken me a really long time to understand that. I still don't really understand it, honestly but it's taken me a really long, long time to accept it, I guess, that I've really lost myself and I have to figure out who I am. The first thing I needed to do was to get the hell out of Florida, which is where I was previously. And I couldn't go back to a place like New York because it's just, New York has too many memories and Florida was also the place where I was the person that I was with my dad and I was chasing all these career goals and everything because that's who I was with my dad, but once I lost my dad, I realized like, holy crap, that's not me at all. Like, I don't wanna do this. And then I think it got really, really bad the past year, really, really bad the past few months because I moved to my last apartment to go to graduate school for physical therapy. And then I realized like, holy crap, I don't think I want to do that. Um, and even though I was like on the fence of like, I don't think I wanna do that, but I think I do. I wasn't ready to spend the money on a, on a fleeting thought, on a like, I don't really know. I'm not gonna say I'm poor um, because that would be stupid. Like I know I have money and if I really wanted to, I could have, but I'm not gonna spend six figures on a, I don't know if I really wanna do this. I decided to reject all of my acceptances from grad school. And I think that was another thing, like when I got accepted to grad school, it wasn't so much this like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I'm so excited to pursue this thing. It was more like this relief that I was validated that I was good enough to get into these grad schools. I didn't go to grad school. And then I was just kind of stuck in this lease at this apartment that I didn't want to live in. I didn't really like the area. I, I love the apartment. I think the apartment was very nice, but the area just wasn't it and I just, I don't like Florida, I just don't like it. A place that I've always loved is California. I love, love California. Whenever I come here, I feel amazing. I don't know, when I was first settling into my old apartment, I was so like stressed all the time. But here, like I'm a little stressed because moving is just a stressful thing. But overall, I'm kind of like, I'm chilling because I'm like, yo, I'm in California. Like, I am happy to be here. Which, by the way, you guys don't see Bomi and Kyo. Don't worry, they're staying at a cat BNB and they're doing fantastic. And I'm even thinking about getting another cat. I was about to say no promises, but I am already filling out adoption applications. So, definitely gonna get another cat. But anyway, um, I keep getting sidetracked. It's been so long. Like, I wanna talk to you guys and stuff. So, like, leave comments below because I'm really excited to like reply and talk to you guys. I'm really excited to get back to filming. I miss filming so, so, so much. I miss editing. I miss talking to you guys. I miss everything about YouTube. But yeah, that's kind of, that's, mo I didn't, I should have wrote something down. I should have written some notes or something to keep track of things. Yeah, I moved. I live in this beautiful new apartment. Um, I really like the area so far. There's so many things to do. And I'm really excited to just kind of start this new journey. I guess, for myself and finding myself. Yeah, that's kind of the update, I guess. Maybe I'm forgetting some stuff. I don't really know. I don't really know. I'm probably forgetting a lot of stuff, but this I've already been talking for such a long time and I'm sure you guys are so bored with that. What else can I update you guys on? Oh, while I was taking my break, I turned 25. I didn't celebrate my birthday with you guys. That was the first time in a long time I didn't like celebrate my birthday on YouTube, but I actually went to Canada. I went to Canada and I met a lot of amazing amazing people which again you guys already know shout out to mary because mary is the only reason i have any friends at all and mary is the only reason i'm still here honestly which i'm gonna be flying her out soon and we're gonna treat her because she deserves the best so i met some amazing people there so who the f oh hello <gasps> oh my god that was a call about the cat i'm getting another cat Holy, okay. Oh my God, what the heck? So cool. We're getting another cat. And also this apartment is bigger. I have new cat trees and stuff. Another one coming in and I will show you guys this empty apartment and you guys can see it for yourself and see how nice it is. It's a beautiful, beautiful apartment. I really like it. Um, definitely gonna make some changes. I'm gonna like, I have a whole new idea for like decor and stuff that I wanna do. That's basically the update, I guess. So let me just kind of run you through this empty apartment tour. 
And then I'll show you guys once the furniture comes in as well. This big room, this room is like massive, honestly. This will be my bedroom. There's gonna be a lot of boxes everywhere. Just kind of ignore that. This is the cat tree that I assembled myself. I also got this little bed from Etsy. And here is the bathroom. So I'm already kind of putting some things together. Hello, here's the bathroom. Got two mirrors. Got, I just got this from Amazon. I got these like little containers and stuff and skincare. I got a new bath mat, very cute. Here is the shower. I'm not a huge fan of the pattern, but it's no big deal. I still have to get a shower curtain. I got these from Amazon as well. I saw them on TikTok and they had amazing reviews. Here is the closet. This closet is huge. Also love how it comes with this. Very big walk-in closet and we'll have one litter box in here. This is gonna be my bedroom. Here is the kitchen. Again, ignore the mess, but here's the kitchen. There are some things I want to change about this place. This is gonna be going, this is gonna be for my desk. It's just a little garbage can that I thought was really cute. Desk, this is gonna be for makeup, and this is gonna be for makeup brushes. I got a new mirror. Here are all the storage space with the fridge. And I have a gas stove, never had a gas stove before. I'm a little nervous. I've always had electric stoves. Um, this is a new air fryer that I got. It's, it's double-sided, which I think is pretty nice. I have a little wine cellar here. And I'm thinking about what kind of bar stools I'm gonna use. I have my white ones, but I'm wondering if I could like switch them out for a colorful one. I'm going to be replacing the couch, the white couch that you guys have seen before. I'm gonna be replacing it and putting like a blushy rose, dusty pink couch here with a more colorful rug. It's gonna have some pink and some green. And I think it'll be a lot more colorful and fun and pretty. And I built this catchery all by myself. I assembled this catchery all by myself. This is gonna be my new office. It's a pretty similar layout to my last apartment. Um, this bathroom is so big as well. Like, feels very ginormous. Um, these are automatic soap dispensers because I felt bougie. And then this closet, I'm gonna keep open at all times and it's where their other litter box will be. And then I have the balcony. I'm gonna put something out here so I can like eat breakfast or something out here. I think it'll be nice. And here, look at this. I have a laundry room. So yeah, that's the empty apartment tour. I mean, there's crap everywhere. There are boxes everywhere, but it's pretty empty. Like there's no furniture or anything yet. I'm gonna still have like all of my old furniture here as new furniture comes in, I'm gonna be selling some things. But yeah, I'm really excited to just kind of start fresh, like actually start fresh, you know? So actually what I can do right now is I can get some breakfast. Um, it's pretty late. Where's my phone? I also haven't worn makeup in like a month, guys. Hello guys. So I forgot to film for like a day or two. Um, so my furniture's here and who is this sweet girl? Hi. This is Anya, my new baby. Hi, sweetie. She is such a sweetie. I love her. She is currently around five months old. Um, I just adopted her yesterday and she's already made herself at home. I haven't been to the gym in like a month. Now I'm a little nervous, but I'm also really excited to like start going back to the gym, get to a new gym. I don't think I'm gonna film because I haven't worked out in like a month and I'm, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. I kinda just wanna focus on my workout and ignore the world um, because my mental's a little shot right now. We won't talk about it. We won't talk about it right now because I'm focused on being happy. Today's gonna be a good day. For right now, I'm gonna go to the gym. Okay, so sorry about the dishwasher in the background. It's been a week or two, two weeks since I filmed that last clip. Maybe like about a week, but I just forgot to close out this video and I'm currently editing it and I totally forgot to close it out. Hi, Miss Anya. Hello, sweet girl, Miss Anya. Yeah, hopefully I can like get back. Well, I mean, not hopefully, like I, I really wanna get back into filming and editing and everything like that. So not hopefully, like I am gonna do it. I'm going to do it. So leave down below like anything else you guys would like to see. I have quite a few ideas of things that I wanna film. So I'm really excited to film all that and I hope you guys enjoy it as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't really like super, what's the word, eventful. I didn't do much, but there are more things to come in the future. But yeah, again, if you guys want to see me a bit more regularly, you can follow me on Twitch. I do stream there around three times a week as of right now. So I will leave my Twitch in the description. I'll have it on the screen, all that good stuff. That is going to be my first video back. Again, I know it was more of like a chatty video. I didn't really do too much, but 
I'll be doing more in the future. I actually just got home from hanging out with some friends. I have some dinner plans tomorrow with a friend. I'm meeting up with some friends on Sunday again. Like I'm doing, like I'm actually like being social and like hanging out with people and doing things. So it, it just feels really nice. And I'm, I'm going to the gym more regularly. Like since the last time I filmed, I've been going to the gym like almost every day. I've been like eating more frequently and like cooking my meals and stuff like that. I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good right now. It's like kind of a fresh start about everything. I'm going through like a lot of changes in life right now. Some really good, some not so good, but I'm trying to look at the bright side of everything. I'm using this kind of as an opportunity to better myself and become a better version of myself, become happier with myself, become someone that is very confident, become someone that no one can tear down, you know? <laughs> Say bye bye, Miss Sonia. So if you enjoyed the video, you know, you can give it a thumbs up, but if you absolutely hated it, despised it, you can give a thumbs down, that's okay too. And before you go, if you haven't already heard today, you are amazing, you are beautiful, you are wonderful, you are so valid, and I am so, so happy that you are alive. I love you so, so much, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.